are some evacuation orders in effect for residents living near the rabbit fire. KTLA's Carlos Herrera joins us live in Moreno Valley with the latest on how many homes are affected. Carlos. Yeah, guys, and officials with the Riverside County Fire Department say the rabbit fire is by far the most challenging of all those uh, blazes that you just mentioned earlier uh, this morning. They say there were several firefighters working overnight trying to make uh, a better, get a better handle uh, on the blaze, but they say it is very difficult terrain and the heat wave, the conditions aren't making things any easier. Take a look at the video coming into our newsroom just from earlier this morning. The rabbit fire starting yesterday afternoon in the area of Jack Rabbit Trail in Gilman Springs Road. This is just east of Mystic Lake. In a short amount of time, the blaze grew from a few hundred acres to more than 4,000. It's been challenging for crews to get a handle on the flames, both on the ground and in the air. It's only 5% contained right now. Officials say the flames are burning in an agricultural area, but they're spreading pretty fast. Shortly before 9 last night, an evacuation order was issued for approximately 25 homes north of Gilman Springs Road to Bridge Street and Highway 79. Officials say the area is home to many seniors. We want the rain, but it's a double-edged sword. When we do get the rain, we get the grasses. Here in Riverside County, we're seeing grasses anywhere between six to eight feet tall uh, in some areas. So just lots and lots of grass out there. Fuel for the fire. Yeah, correct. correct. Fuel for the fire. And this is one of the three large fires scorching Riverside County and threatening homes and lives. They come as Southern California is under excessive heat warnings or advisories with tr sizzling triple digit temperatures in the forecast. Unfortunately, the Inland Empire won't see much cooling down even in the evenings, making it even harder for crews to put out the fires. In fact, they want to take advantage of the early morning hours to make even more progress, hoping to get uh, containment up to 10% by early this morning. Now, so far, there's only been one person who's been injured, a man who burned his hand yesterday afternoon. He was a near a vehicle that caught fire when that blaze started. That man uh, is recovering at a nearby hospital and is expected to be okay. Pedro Loren, the cause of this blaze, still under investigation. We'll send it back to you.